morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Monday. It's Monday. What a fun day. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Today is Monday. It's January 10th. It's day four. Happy New Year again, everybody. Hope you enjoyed your three-day weekend. Hope you had a chance to read a couple of good books. Hope you had a chance to have some fun in the snow. Couple of reminders. My goodness, Miss Landolt's class is doing a great job. They're learning how to tell time. They're using clocks. They know all about the big hand and the little hand. Great job, Miss Landolt's class. Miss Dashie's class is learning a lot about space and they're building all kinds of cool spaceships. Maybe one day they're going to actually go to Mars. That would be pretty cool. And we've got Miss Randall's class doing some sort of hydroponic gardening. I, I always thought you needed soil for gardening, but apparently they figured out some way where you don't need soil. So we're going to have to, you know, come back to them in a couple weeks and see what's going on with their hydroponic gardens. Really cool. All right, everybody. I uh, just want to remind everyone that we do have some Dibbles testing coming up. We do have some data chats coming up. If you haven't already done that, where you can sit down with your teacher and you can talk a little bit about how you did on your beginning of the year assessments, how you're doing right now, and maybe how you can try and do the very best you possibly can on the middle of the year, iReady reading and math assessments and the middle of the year doubles assessments. And also want to remind everyone that this is a full five day week this week. And uh, we've had many questions with folks asking, you know, should I come to school? Should I not come to school? What do I do if I'm sick? Well, I'm not really a doctor. I just play one on Hawk TV. But based on everything that I've read, this is what I think you should do. If you wake up in the morning and you're feeling sick, you should stay home, especially if you have a fever or a cough or a headache, something like that. And if you're waiting for the results of a COVID test, you should stay home. Wait until you get the results. And then if you do test positive, which a lot of people are, if you test positive, you should stay home at least five days and you should then be able to come back to school once you're symptom free. So if you stay out for five days, but then you still have a fever, stay home another day. It's okay. But if you're feeling fine after five days and if your doctor says it's okay, you could come back, but then you would have to wear a mask. It would be required for you to come back wearing a mask. We recommend that everybody wear a mask anyway. And we do require masks on uh, school buses. But if you do test positive, have to stay home for five days. When you come back, you are required to wear a mask as well. All right. And don't forget, if we all work together, we can have the best school year ever. Have a great day, everybody.